Hey guys, John here from therxview.com and today we're doing a head-to-head -head comparative review on Elevation Training Mars. As you know, there are two Elevation Training Mars on the market at the moment. We've got the 1.0 and the 2.0. Now we've had a lot of emails come through in recent times asking us which one you should buy, whether it's the 1.0 or the 2.0. So we thought we'd do a head-to-head -head comparative review on both of them. We reviewed both these masks on our website and we think that when it comes to buying a new mask, there are four things you should look at. And they are how well it works, visibility, fit and size, and price. Let's start with the first one, how well it works. Now look, both of these masks do a great job of restricting your breathing and controlling how much oxygen comes into your body. So they both get a tick for that one. But when it comes to which one does it better, the 1.0 wins. Not by much, but it does win. The reality is it has a much more tighter area for the oxygen. It's, 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 it's a suction tight cap, which really fits tight on your face. So when it comes to breathing oxygen in and out, this one does a better job. On top of that, it's a lot more easy to change the settings. We've got a screw on valve, which all you need to do is screw the cap off and then put it back on to change the setting. That's as simple as that. On the Elevation Training Mars 2.0, you've got seven different caps and three different valves. To get the desired setting you want, you really need to read the, the user's manual, watch the DVD, and finick around for ages. It's finicky, it's annoying. In the middle of the watt, if you want to change the settings, it's not on. It's really annoying. So 1.0 wins when it comes to how well it works. When it comes to visibility, however, the 2.0 wins hands down. Now, when you want to do CrossFit exercises and so forth, visibility is one of the most important things you need. With the Training Mask 1.0, you try doing Helen, you try doing Grace, you try doing Fran with this one. Try doing kettlebell swing, try doing pull-ups, the visibility is horrible. In fact, it's not just horrible, it's dangerous. I've done box jumps with this mask before and I've missed the box, hit my shins on it and really hurt myself. So when it comes to visibility, there's no doubt this one is not just annoying, it's haphazardous. 2.0, however, as you can see, you've got complete visibility. When it comes to CrossFit workouts, Jujutsu MMA, this thing wins hands down. Third point, fit and size. Well, bottom line is they both do a good job in terms of fitting your head. When it comes to size, 2.0 wins hands down. As you can see, this thing is huge. It's also embarrassing. When you're running down the track, you're gonna get a lot of eyes looking at you. It's annoying, it's big, it's large. You can't just put it in your back seat, you can't put it in your back pocket. It's huge. 2.0, it's convenient, perfect size, not as embarrassing when you run down the street and you've got the visibility there. So all up, fit and size, 2.0 wins. Third point is the price. Now, remarkably enough, and I'm surprised as well, this is the newest and the most updated model of the Elevation Training Mask. However, it's also cheaper than the original. We're only talking about $10, so it's not a massive amount. But when it comes to it, whether you rather spend $80 or $90 on this, or $90 to $100 on this one, i definitely spend the extra $10, uh, save the extra $10 and get the 2.0. So in a nutshell, which one should you buy? Which one's a better purchase? Well, all things taken in consideration, the 2.0 wins, hands down. Not only is it cheaper, it works better, it's got better visibility and the fit and size is great. Um, it might be a bit finicky to use, it might be a bit annoying to change the settings and so forth, but all in all, it's a better purchase and much more better for you to buy.